the last straw on car back loading. Probably the last time I'm gonna try to explain to y'all motherfuckers this whole car back loading thing because I already made the videos a long time ago and I'm still getting questions. People, and I'm, I'm making the video for the subscribers that actually want to fucking, you know, know the truth on everything, right? Because I don't give a fuck about the, you'll always have trolls and haters. Like I said, we need trolls and haters around, you know? Right? I always say you need shit to make the grass grow greener, right? So we need shit around us. So forget the haters. I'm talking about the stuff that actually want to know. Megan, give us some scientific background behind this. Because I already gave you guys the bro science and the science. You what I just want to focus on the science. Let me tell you. Let me show you guys. There's the two simple principles of car back loading, right? Two simple principles. That are prove the fuck then, right? Proven. I'm tired of motherfuckers. Oh, this is bro science. Motherfucker, do some fucking research, man. This shit pissing me off so much. What the fuck is bro science? Right? I'm talking right now. I'm, I'm only gonna focus on things that are proven. I'm not gonna focus on my personal stories as much as some of you like them. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna focus on anecdotes. I'm just gonna focus on backed up research, not done by one group, but done by n different several universities. Right? One proven principle. Number one. Uh, getting a big, um, getting a big instant spike in the morning is the worst thing you wanna do. If you, if listen, big if if you struggle with fat loss, right? Now if you one of those. Uh, uh, um, fast metabolism skinny motherfuckers that can eat whatever you fuck you want and still grow they don't watch this fucking video it's not for you I hate when people think that everything every video made should go with what they believe or um, um, one program works for everybody this is for people who struggle with fat loss people who are like me people who are, who are skinny fat skinny legs skinny arms and big stomach puffy face right I've been like that my whole life so uh, this is for fat people people who struggle with fat loss so now that I have my audience in check Principle number one that is proven. Getting a big insulin spike in the morning, right, is horrible for fat loss. Why? Number one, it uh, it affects the way your body's gonna burn fat for the rest of the day. Proven, prove the fuck then, right? Uh, meaning, if you have two two people, one person gets a big insulin spike in the morning, the other person doesn't. Uh, even if that the, the calories are the fucking same, the person with the big insulin spike is gonna um, have a harder time losing fat the other day. Why? Not only because insulin is a fat storing hormone, one, the most powerful fat hormone in the body. I'm not even gonna go to those details. I made videos about that. But because of different chemical pathways that happen when you have a big insulin spike, right? Your body thinks takes all that food and tries to store it for energy um, in the morning. Second reason why it's bad to eat a, a big, to get a big insulin spike in the morning is because proven again, prove the fuck then. Uh, fat cells and muscle cells. Let's focus on fat cells now. Fat cells are the most sensitive to insulin in the morning. Your body is. So Super insulin sensitive in the morning. Meaning, when you get an insulin spike in the morning, your fat cells soak up that glucose like a motherfucker. And it makes sense, guys. Evolutionary. Think about it. You sleep for about eight hours. Your body doesn't get food for eight hours. So you know it's in the fasting state. When you wake up, your body's ready to get that energy back. So the moment you put food in your mouth in the morning, obviously, if, you're, if it's you know insulin, if something that spikes your insulin, like uh, high carbs, high protein, fast digestion protein, whey, all that shit, uh, your body's gonna try to store that shit. It's common fucking sense. But once again, forget common sense. Let's focus on facts. It's proven so you have two reasons that tell you not to get a big insulin spike in the morning number one your fats are super sensitive in the morning and number two getting a big insulin spike in the morning affects the way your body's gonna store it's gonna um, deal with fat throughout the day I mean your body's gonna start storing fat instead of using it for energy as opposed to continuing after that fast that's why carbide recommends that you eat uh, slow digesting protein fiber fats things like that in the morning because those foods don't release a big 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 insulin spike so that's principle number one principle number two is once again, prove the fuck then, is that post-workout, your muscle cells, not your fasting, your muscle cells are hungry as fuck for glucose. That soak up sugars like a motherfucker. Prove the fuck then. Fact. Finish. Capiche, motherfuckers. Meaning, and I explain, I'm explaining the science behind it. After you train, concentric exercises, things like that, your glucose transporters, which are the motherfuckers that come up to the surface of your muscle cells and soak up sugar, after you train, they'll go to the surface, right? And they're crazy. They're fucking ready to absorb glucose. Independent of insulin. They did that study on diabetic patients who were insulin resistant, right? Uh, when they, After they trained, their body was able to clear the glucose. And some people were like, how the fuck is the body doing it? They, it's just they're insulin um, resistant. And they found out the glucose transporters after training go to the surface of the cell and begin to absorb glucose like crazy. Which takes all the glucose, most of the glucose, away from your fastest and into your muscle cells. Bingo. So let me tell you guys. Pretend call back loading never fucking existed. You never heard of it. And I give you those two facts, right? That why you know scientific proven that eating eating a, a big 
uh, getting a pain spike in the morning is bad for fat loss and then post workout your body is, it needs glucose and it goes to your muscles instead of your fat cells as much if I tell you those two principles what kind of diet are you gonna follow let's say you never heard of call back loading obviously in the morning you're gonna follow like a little caveman style diet fats nuts fiber veggies protein meats you know things like that to not get pain spike and after you train you're gonna slam on the carbs right what the fuck is that called? Call back loading, motherfuckers. I get so fucking mad. And then the funny thing is, not only is it backed up by science, that you got these idiots that saying, oh, this bro science, bro science, when it's fucking backed up. I mean, if you're not gonna believe science, then what the fuck are you gonna believe then? If you're not gonna believe bro science and proven science, then no fucking talk. But anyway, um, you got these people uh, uh, saying, um, what's, what's that troll? What, what the fuck did he comment on my page the other day, man? Oh, uh, you overcomplicate things. Uh, you overanalyzing things. Listen, you skip. If your genetics are good, you have no problem with fat loss, then you don't understand what it's like to be a fat motherfucker your whole life. You don't understand what it's like. So get the fuck out of the way. Let us focus on the things that work for us. If your diet works for you right now, keep fucking doing it, right? Bodybuilding is not a religion. It's not a dogma. You don't, there's not one Allah, one Yahweh, one God for everybody. Pick whatever works for you. Like I said before, what worked for your grandpa when might not, not work for my grandma. What gives you gains might give me hemorrhoids. I say that all the fucking time. Just figure out what works for you, but do not discredit something. All right, guys. You make my dreams come true. Today's song is going to be Michael Jackson. You rock my word. Four minutes, 25 seconds long. That's how long it's going to take me. You make my dreams come true. You're wasting minutes.